that no matter where I go, I, when I share the news about Greenwood and accepting me as a member of your family, uh, everyone's always excited. I'll say that's Barb Stegman, named an honorary colonel today at Canadian Forces Base Greenwood. It's in recognition of her efforts as a civilian to aid the objectives of Canada's mission in Afghanistan. As Nella Hayed tells us, Stegman is cultivating a sweet-smelling root out of poverty. They don't have heels? Yeah. Eh? Barb Stegman is the kind of person who could never play just one role in life. That excites me. How cool is this? We have to let the pants down a little bit, though. On this day at CFB Greenwood, Stegman, the lifelong civilian, is getting fitted to realize a lifelong dream, joining the military. Shoes? Okay. And you can wear your eye heels with them. I'll be wearing heels with these. <laughs> We need all the help we can get with these 80s pants. Even here, she's the kind of person who can't help but try to make everyone laugh. They look bulky. The uniforms in the 50s were gorgeous. I was like, so why didn't you just, can I have one of those? But Stegman, the honorary colonel, plans to take the ceremonial role seriously. And I'm honored by that because it shows me the military wants to see more citizens being engaged and being a part of this change and understanding their mission is really of peace and taking it upon ourselves to make rebuilding more exciting than destruction. It all started with Stegman's belief that countries destroyed by war or natural disaster don't need handouts. Instead, they need trade and encouragement. Well, 178 hand-picked petals are in each bottle. Stegman, the businesswoman, is all about rebuilding ruined countries, one sail at a time. It's a scent that really hovers around you like a veil. The line of perfumes she pitches is based on oils sourced from troubled places. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. Not gorgeous? Oh, gorgeous? And these oils are considered some of the best in the world. Do you want to put some on? Sure. And it mixes nicely with the rose, actually. Oh, oh really? And behind every whiff, there is a story. And so one day, with his mission in mind, mm -hmm. I read about this gentleman, Abdullah Arsula, who was growing the legal crops, the orange and the rose, in Afghanistan, trying to get the farmers off the illegal crops. The initial inspiration was her friend Trevor Green. When he joined the military, she'd wanted to follow, but couldn't due to a hearing impairment. Green became a Canadian Forces captain, and in 2006, he was badly injured in an axe attack while serving in Afghanistan. It means my service wasn't in vain. In fact, I inspired her. I trust her to carry on. Unsurprisingly, the first scent of opportunity came from Afghanistan. That's where Stegman got orange blossom and rose oil from groves near Jalalabad. Her supplier, Abdullah Arsala, owns a flower oil distillery that employs farmers who might otherwise grow opium poppies. The vetiver oil comes from a fragrant grass grown in Haiti, supplied by Gilbert Assad. I don't believe in charity. Uh, I believe firmly in economic empowerment, connecting with people and welcoming them to the banquet, building relationships with people. Nobody's higher than the other. I think charity makes us feel better, but at the end of the day, it doesn't change or break the cycle of poverty. She does it all remotely, connecting online with people vetted by CEDA to get her supplies. I can smell it already. Then in Toronto, the oils are transformed into fragrances that try to compete with the big names. Oh. That is so incredible. You do it differently. We have no skinny models, we have no movie stars, no big budget advertising. Our, oil, our money goes to the farmers. So right there, that's a huge thing that distinguishes us, us from anyone else. Stegman, the self-described philosopher queen, says hers is a philosophy based on her own experience growing up in a family living on welfare. Well, I was raised in humble roots, and when people dropped off the Christmas hamper and drove away, I knew it came from a good place, but it didn't invite my sister and I to the banquet. It didn't include us in the network to make decisions, to be a part of it, and that forever shaped me. And now, Stegman, the CEO, exceeded even her own expectations. The Bay sells the Seven Virtues fragrances countrywide. Orange blossoms. A long way from selling it out of her garage. And since her appearance on CBC's Dragon's Den landed her a $75,000 investment that brought her sense hundreds of thousands in revenue. Hey, you gotta wait. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that works. 
Well, I think it's very empowering uh, when you see citizens like Barb Stegman and, and many others supporting efforts to help lift the people of Afghanistan, of Haiti, uh, impoverished places, and doing it in an entrepreneurial way. Well, the wing honorary well, colonel has got access to everything, hasn't she? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I'm going to stick with you. <laughs> Her humor and determination brought attention and an invitation to become an honorary colonel at a base near her hometown of Halifax. In the nearly 70-year history of CFB Greenwood, there's never been a female honorary colonel appointed here. In fact, they're rare in the forces. But one whiff of Stegeman's ideas, and they say here, she seemed an obvious choice. She's so dynamic. She's done so much uh, to develop uh, people in Afghanistan, uh, and also in her role as an advocate for the troops and the military. Uh, we felt it was important, and it just magically worked uh, that uh, that Barb would be our new honorary colonel. Snap. Right. The rare honor is a salute to Stegman's people-to-people -people approach, and it bestows a Did new role, boosting soldiers' morale. It's fair trade, so the farmers make uh, fair market wage. And Stegman then wants to take her ideas point. further afield, to the Middle East. She's already discussing plans with officials to source oils from Israel and the Palestinian territories and mix them into one. But her biggest battle remains changing Canada's culture of charity to one of cooperation. So it matches that women own the buying power, but we still have issues of war and poverty. Let's take that buying power and let's flex it. For me, I would really like to see that, but I, I, I feel we're far away from it. I really feel it, and I know I'm just scratching the surface, you know, so, but we can keep communicating. And hopefully we'll see a cavalry of businesses coming to do trade with these nations. That's kind of warm. Yeah? Yep, just like that. Stegman, the mother, author, and motivational speaker, now a colonel. No matter what hat she's wearing, her main role is to inspire. Nala Ayed, CFB Greenwood, Nova Scotia.